Hello everyone, my name is Betty Dubois and welcome to Butterfly Whispers Pick a Card Reading. If you like the reading, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the future videos. I hope that you enjoy today's reading. Hi everyone and sorry for the delay on the video. I thought that my channel had the videos all set up ready to go and checked this morning and went where is my yes and no video so here it comes uh, quick yes and no have a bit of fun with it guys stop the video if you need to make sure you hit that subscribe button I'm told through my YouTube channel analytics whatever you call it that uh, a lot of the people that watch these videos don't actually subscribe and it really really helps me out guys if you subscribe um, and don't ask me why because I don't know I know when you've got to build up your subscribers um, how that all works but yeah if you do me a favor it's not going to cost you anything you're not going to get harassed by me um, so just please hit that subscribe button and don't forget the notification bell because when I go live which I should be going live soon um, when I go live you can come and see me and you can get a free mini reading um, and there's some paid options there to get a more personalized kind of feel but let's do a quick yes and no um, so we got pile number one two three and four so let's see what we get guys starting with pile number one so we're going to do these uh, we're going to do yes and no with these today so we've got two here top and bottom cards all pre-shuffled we'll do one Lenormand we'll get them out right now so yes and no for piles number one, two, three, four. Okay, so some of you out there are going to get an invitation to a wedding, a party, a celebration, and congratulations to those who've graduated or just got engaged or getting married. Um, it looks like a celebration's there. It could even be a new romantic interlude for some of you watching right now. So let's just do yes and no ready here. Wow. Some of you are about to pull in the harvest, so some of you have put a lot of efforts into your work, into your family, uh, maybe you're building a house, it's about to pay off, the rewards are about to come. So, let's see, yes or no, okay, so here we go, pile number one, yes or no, all right. This is a big fat yes, guys, in pile number one. Um, we've got somebody that wants to rush in, get the plans all happening. They've been thinking about the past. They're thinking about their future. Uh, maybe it's an air sign that you're dealing with here and also a fire sign. Now, I do feel a young, old energy. I feel the female is probably the older one and then I feel that the male or female because there's two characters the pages can be male or female it can actually be a child um, so that can be male or female that is the younger energy but the older energy is definitely female what I'm seeing here but we've got air signs so that's Aquarius Gemini um, and Libra I was about to say Cancer and cancer's got nothing to do with air signs or fire signs so you may be dealing with a cancer star sign uh, somebody born in July um, but we're going to give you a yes if you are asking about a new job this would be the boss this would be the apprentice or the new job that you're going on the journey you're going on and this would be the money so if this is about a job congratulations it's yes if this is about going to a new college and traveling to go to that college it's yes um, if this is about a loan that you're going for or investing in money or winning money uh, this is all yes it's very very good as far as work finance and travel goes with this pile in regards to love if you are asking a love question I feel like these two people are looking in opposite directions and they may be deciding to call something quits and go in different directions with each other now. Um, somebody may be overseas as well. So let's just do yes and no with these as well in case a yes and no comes out. You may want to focus on that same question even though you got a yes here. Um, or you might have another question in your mind in case yes or no comes out in this deck. If it does, it then needs to be placed back into the deck ready for the next lot. If it doesn't, the three cards that come out for this um, will be put to one side. So it's all different messages. So pile number one, yes or no, please. You need to sort out the finances. Like I said, you've got a financial card here. It's looking good. 
Uh, you need to listen, be open. This is usually where something's changing or somebody might not have uh, really told you a particular thing and you only listen to one little bit, the bit you wanted to hear. You need to listen to everything that you've been told. Uh, you are getting a yes answer. So it's definitely a yes in pile number one. So we've got a yes for pile number one. We're gonna leave that there ready for pile number two. Okay, so that's pile number one. Okay, pile number two, yes or no? Here we go, ask your question. Uh, we're not gonna read upside down unless I really feel it's necessary. Okay, uh, we got indecision, indecision, so there may be cards, and then we got a yes going in a love direction. So if you're involved where you're trying to select a person to be involved with at this time, you're hanging around and you're waiting, you're looking at your options, and you're gonna go with what feels right. Uh, even if it's a job, you're sort of weighing up your options. You're hanging around waiting for information to come in. Uh, once, one option, you know what the pay is, you know where you're gonna live, you know, know the people. The other option, you're not too sure. It's kind of like sun and moon energy here. So yes or no, um, I'm going to get another card from the middle of the tarot. Um, I'm going to give this a yes because this can be success either way. It can be going on a new journey and experience something new and fun. Um, and it can also be staying on the same path of what you've been doing for a while. So some of you are going to hang on the same path for a while with this hangman energy. You're going to hang around. You're going to keep doing what you're doing until something better comes along. For others, you're going to take a chance on something different. Um, I do think not only is there love energy here, there's something to do with truth and honesty. Um, you might be dealing with air sign and water sign here. So that would be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, and then air sign would be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Not necessarily true, but um, could be a possibility. And down here we have Queen of Diamonds. Now, I always say the diamonds are fire signs. So there may be something to do with a fire sign as well. Um, this woman can be very beautiful. She can be very hardworking. Uh, she can be uh, medical or she could be into finance and stuff like that. Um, so that's pile number two. I'm going to give it a yes, but I think there's a sort of a hold on it being yes. So just focus either on the same question or another question. Let's see if we get yes or no out of this deck for pile number two. Yes or no for this deck for pile number two. What have we got? You can do this. Step out of the comfort zone. And karma, whatever you're putting out there is coming back. So if you've been putting good karma out there, uh, helping people out, doing your job, being truthful, being an honest person, uh, having happiness and love and comfort, all of that sort of thing, um, it's going to come back in that way. Uh, if somebody's done you wrong uh, out there, you might be sitting back watching what's going on and go, oh my gosh, that's karma. Actually, something was said by somebody the other day and uh, it was about something that happened in a video and they said, oh wow, look, the aggressor got hit. Um, so that's kind of like karma, just happened bang, just like that. Um, and it wasn't a uh, human or anything, it was uh, an animal that was attacking and then it got hit and the person said, um, that's karma. It got, it got, got karma straight away. Um, unfortunately, in relationships or jobs or whatever, let's say you worked at a job and somebody did the wrong thing and they did it and they implicated you and you did nothing and you ended up losing your job or being uncomfortable in the job or whatever. Um, unfortunately, with karma, you just don't know how it's going to come back around and when it's going to come back around. I mean, I've heard stories from people that they're going, when's this person going to get karma with what they did? And then um, I'll see them years later or decade later and they'll say, guess what? Remember that story I told you where John did something to 
beg and 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 there was some sort of thing that happened well john finally got his karma because this is what happened um but yeah karma it's a funny thing karma you can't really just because if someone stole your car doesn't mean that the karma is going to be that their car is going to be stolen their karma could be i don't know they break their leg and they can't participate in some competition anymore or you know, their karma could be something totally different to what the karma was of the thing that they did to you. So anyway, the karma's coming back. So whatever you've been putting out, if you've been putting out good vibes, it's going to come back in a good way. So that's pile number two. We're going to give it a yes soon. You know, if you're waiting on a yes, it's coming eventually. Okay. All right. Pile number three, yes or no. Ooh, this is a no, guys. Um, now, there is people out there. This is a pregnancy, birth, finding out you're pregnant and fertile. This is the opposite. This is where there's problems with fertility, even loss of pregnancy, uh, miscarriages or something like that. Um, this could be big drama around fertility here. Um, this is the broken heart. If we're looking at a relationship here, the good news, guys, for pile number three, uh, maybe you were asking, am I going to reconcile with Joe Blow? Um, this would be a no. There's too much heartbreak here. It's caused a lot of stress. It's still causing stress. And it's telling you that there's going to be a new beginning. There's going to be somebody else. There's going to be something new coming in. Um, and it's even got the Queen of Hearts down here. So the... It, Queen of Hearts can just be the energy of new love, a, a good person. It's also fertility, as I said. So if you have had problems with fertility and pregnancy and you're going, am I pregnant now? Am I going to be pregnant next month? It's no for now, but eventually it's coming if you're asking about that kind of thing. Uh, if you're asking about a relationship, mending, no. Um, you're going through pain and whatever. If you ask, did somebody do blah, blah, blah behind your back? Uh, this would be a no, even though this is betrayal and heartbreak. The energy of the cards is screaming at me, no, 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 no. Um, but you are being told you need to go on a new journey here. So we're going to give a no for pile number three. You can focus on the same question if you like. Okay, I'm just waiting for the cards to stick or jump, but it doesn't look like they're going to. So pile number three. Uh, you might win. The answer is no. And the answer is yes. Um, <laughs> ooh. Were you asking more than one question in your mind? Were you asking the one question and then, then saying something else? Uh, like, should I buy the, the Ford or should I buy the Holden? Um, so the first answer is no, and the second answer is yes. So you're getting a yes and a no here. I feel some of you out here watching changed your mind with the question. So whatever you thought about first is no whatever you thought about second or if you change the question in your mind or the person what you're thinking about or whatever you're getting yes and no in the one reading you're even getting no and yes in these cards so i feel like pile number three you were asking two kind of questions should i do this or should i do that and it was should i do this no should I do that? Yes. But then the second time it was yes and no. So good luck with that, guys. Um, yeah, could be my energies as well. You know, different things I'm thinking about when I shuffle cards. I'm not asking questions, but um, just thinking about certain things. Um, I try to keep my energies out of the, the readings. But yeah, here we go. All right, last but not least, poll number four. Good luck, guys. Pile number four, yes or no. Have a bit of fun with it and don't forget to subscribe. 
Um, a lot of my viewers do not subscribe. I don't know why. Um, I do know that I've looked at a lot of channels. If I like the channel, I hit subscribe no matter what. Um, but then I've seen other people that they watch the same channels all the time and they never subscribe. So do me a favor, please, please, please subscribe. Uh, pile number four, yes or no. What are we going to do for you today? Ooh, we've got yes, yes, and we got no. And this is a pretty yucky no. Uh, this is all about betrayal, stealing, deception, disappointment, everything you can think about negative about a person, a situation, a job, whatever. This is really, really not nice energy. Uh, it is a seven of swords, which is like seven of spades. I feel there's been some sort of uh, if you are asking about, will I get this job? Will I get promoted or whatever? There's some sort of forced change going on. Um, but this here, you've got your strength. You've got to build on your strength. It could be emotional strength. It could be physical well-being. Uh, it could be financial strength as well. Um, and then an opportunity is coming here and we got a seven of diamonds. So it's almost like the black seven turning into a red seven. Um, this is really good where things start to go your way. So if you are asking about a job, will it be successful? Will I get that job? Will I get that promotion? You've got the strength. It could grow. You've also got an opportunity that's coming your way, but there will be some sort of disappointments along the way. And it could be a time frame issue as well. This could be something that takes seven weeks, seven months, and then you see the benefits or the some sort of opportunity comes in uh, towards you. So yes or no, I'm just going to pull another tarot from the middle of the deck. Yes or no for poll number four. Yeah, it's a yes. And I do feel it might be about a job or a financial situation, buying a house, selling a house, uh, investing. Um, so you may have invested and you're asking, you know, what should I do about it? Should I, should I sell it now? Um, I'd say that right now, no, and just wait a little duration and things will pick up. Um, but I'm not a financial advisor, so don't take my advice on this from a deck of cards. But if that was the kind of question you were asking, make sure you go to the right people and ask the right questions. Um, but I'm going to give this a yes. I just feel there's some sort of delay or something. And don't be fooling yourself. When something feels wrong, it's probably wrong. And go for what feels right here. But there is a lot of hard work and efforts, and they will pay off. You do have the strength. I'm wondering whether sometimes you feel like you haven't got the strength to go on with something, and then something new, some sort of new idea or opportunity will come along. Okay, so yes and no again. We'll just shuffle these. Yes and no for pile number four. Okay, that's flipped over for you. You're being told to just say no. Now, sometimes when I see the no come out like this, even though it's not answering a question saying no, um, I feel like that could be a no at this time, but let's see. You need to rest before you start getting busy. And also, it looks like a yes. Okay, so we got yes and no sitting on the table again, like the last reading. Um, There'll be something you're saying no to, something that, like I said, there may be an opportunity, there may be different opportunities. Some of them are not going to be what you want, or some of them are going to feel wrong, um, and you're going to say no to that. You need to rest up and get ready because things are going to start to pick up and get busy, and it looks like a yes to your question. So this was yes, yes, yes. This is sort of like yuck um, and no, and then we got yes and yes. Um, so I'm going to give it a yes to pile um, number four. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button, the subscribe, and uh, hit the notification bell and come and catch me when I'm live. All right, guys, talking about live, that's where I'm going now.